Dearly beloved, loving greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Are these amazing flowers beautiful? In America, this is the spring season. It is the rainy season as well. It keeps raining and it is indeed a joy to see such beautiful flowers bloom. Do you see how beautifully the Lord God has made these flowers? It is for us to see, enjoy and praise the Lord. Well, what does the Lord say to me today? In Romans chapter 10 and verse 12, the same Lord over all is rich to all who call upon Him. The Lord God is the Lord for all of us. He doesn't belong to a particular religion, language, country or a particular family. He is the Lord of all. He is the Lord of all the people in the world. He is the Lord of the people of all languages. You may be a Christian or non-Christian. He is your Lord as well. He created you. That is why He loves you and speaks with you daily to bless you. The scripture says that the Lord God is rich to all who call upon Him. He is a God who has riches. So are you thinking, how does it matter to me that He is rich? He has the authority to meet your needs, supply what you lack, give you riches and bless you. They say that He is a poor God. Didn't Jesus Christ come as a poor man? Wasn't He born in the house of a carpenter? Didn't He grow up in poverty? Are you saying this? So let me tell you, He became poor for us only. It is said in the scriptures, though he was rich, yet for our sakes he became poor that you through his poverty might become rich. In spite of being rich, why did he become poor? To transform our poverty. Now today in your life, there is a need for money, debt problems and poverty. Are you thinking this lack remains unchanged? I don't have to become a very rich person. It is enough if our daily needs are met and we lead a debt-free life. The Lord God wants to give you that blessing. He is a God who has riches. He will give this blessing to all who call on Him. So then you have to call on Him. All you need to say to Him is, Praise you, Lord Jesus. I am calling on you. You are the Lord who created me. You are the God who has riches. I believe that you became poor to transform my poverty. According to your word, transform my poverty, give me riches in my life and bless me, Lord. Transform the poverty in my children's lives, transform all debt problems. Bless us with riches, try praying like this and you will surely see that blessing in your life. That is why the Lord is speaking with you always. Shall we pray for that now? Will you look unto the Lord God and ask, let us pray in unison for that. Dear Jesus, you are a God who has riches. You are my God, the one who created me, the one who became poor for me. You became poor to transform my poverty, dear Lord. I am calling on you now in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. May the poverty in our lives, families and the lives of our children be transformed. May there be riches and blessings. In the name of Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen.